Hey, welcome back. It's Darren Bernard of Poor Boys uh, Crafts. Uh, today, we are going to be making a miniature house for all your gaming needs. Uh, we're also going to be doing a little bit of recycling. Um, it is getting the season where we're going to be using a lot of tissues. So you're going to have a lot of boxes like this that you'd normally be throwing away, but uh, we're going to use these for a craft to make as a house. So uh, notice right here, you know, that's where the napkins come out. That's going to be the bottom, okay? Um, and that's what's going to be the start of our house. Remember, if you like, uh, hit that like button. Um, if you ain't a subscriber, go ahead and uh, subscribe and then hit that share. We'll uh, share it to all your friends and family and hopefully get the name out there and just enjoy and have some fun while we're sitting here uh, making these things, okay? But the first thing we'll do is we've got to get our measurements. If you'll notice, the one side is going to be shorter than the other side. The short sides are going to be our front and our backs. So let's get the measurements of them. So we'll take these and measure out, and they, looks like they measure out four and a quarter. Okay, so we're going to be taking our scrap sheets, and we're going to measure out four and a quarter. Get our pencil here. Measure out at four and a quarter. And that's going to be our short side. I'm going to go ahead and measure out there. Then we'll measure out the length of it, and it looks like it comes up to five inches. Now, uh, most houses have a peak, so we'll want to come up a little higher. So let's go about two inches uh, taller than that. So we'll want to go up seven inches. So seven inches. And then finish up that four and a quarter there. Then we're going to cut this out. Remember to be very careful. These things are sharp. There we go. Now we have our block, rectangle block. Now we're going to go back to that five inches, which is the height of our box. And we're going to make a mark on both sides. And then we know that we're at four and a quarter, so we want to find center. So half of four and a quarter is two and an eighth. Put a mark there. Then we're going to come down here like that. Come out here to the five inch mark again. Come there like that. Cut her out. Don't matter taking some of it off the back because we're going to be doing that to the whole thing. Take the back off of it. Good. And then make another one just like it. Okay, we got two of them just alike. Now we're going to set them aside for right now. We're going to turn the box over. We're going to get the measurements on the long side. Now the long side measures at four and five eighths. And it should still be at five inches. Yeah. So four and five eighths is our long side. So we'll get another one out. Mark it at four and five eighths. Four and five eighths. Mark them out. Go up to five inches. Mark that. And we'll go ahead and cut that out. Put that aside. We'll need the rest of that for the roof. Cut that out. Then we're going to take the back off and make another one just like it. All right. We got two of them just like it. Now we'll clear our path here a bit. Now we're going to go ahead and take our trusted little uh, roll of aluminum foil and we're going to 
brick them down. I'm going to make them look rough. So just roll that around on there. Make it look sort of like stone, or in this case, stucco, which is a kind of a concrete type wall mixture. Kind of make it look like that. I don't know if you can see that really good. But when the paint gets on it, you can really see it. Sometimes the camera just doesn't do it justice. I'll see if I can't get you closer with this one. Maybe you can see it. good there we go try to get a good picture of them maybe you can see the texture that we're putting on it now if you don't get all the black off there don't worry about it it will blend in once we get the paint on there Okay, we got them all stuccoed. Now we get the glue. So starting with the short side, grab your gun. Just put it on there. Hold it tight, hold it firm. go do the same thing to the other side hold it tight and firm make sure that you're inside your square Sorry, fellas. Had to get another glue stick. I'm out of glue. Now we'll go to our short sides, making sure that you got the five inch set the right way. You don't want to go the wrong way. You get the five inch up. Put the glue on. Batten down the hatches real good. Make sure it fits on there good and tight. Turn around to the other side. Same thing. notice it's starting to look like a house now now don't worry that we have got a little hole there we're going to cover that up in fact that is the next step we'll grab the center of plates little star foam plates just cut her cut out the beveled ends of them and this is what you're going to do cut a straight line down one of them Kind of square it up. We're going to measure out one inch. I want to use a little, little roller here so, I, so that I can easier to maneuver. Now 
going to look just like that. See, just about the right size there. I'm going to square off the top here. And it's just about the right size. Now I'm going to grab my brush and I'm going to make it look like wood. That's what your brushing is. Just make it look like wood. Then I'm going to fold it in half very gently. Get it as close to half as possible. Just like that until it bends. Then on the hot setting, and the reason why it's wanted it hot is so that it'll actually make this crinkle, make it look like wood. I'm going to put a bead down both sides of the folds and then one right down the middle. Then I'm going to fold it around and hold it. See how that looks? <clears throat> Using my scissors. Snip off the excess. And there you go. Now we're going to do that all around all four corners. All right, we got all of them around there. Uh, if you can see how it looks, I don't know if you can see the uh, intricate designs on it, make it look like wood there. And now we're ready for the roof. Now, first of all, we're going to have to measure the roof. So, it looks like we're going to be right at five inches, but we're going to want a little bit, probably a half inch overhang. So, we're going to go six inches wide. And we're going to come down from the top. And that's three inches. So, we're going to want a half inch overhang. So, three and a half inches long. So, six inches wide. By three and a half inches long so we'll grab out leave that aside grab this out three and a half inches wide we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and go up here a long ways here three and a half inches wide by six inches long. That's the length of my ruler here. So that'll go there. Looks like I've got room, just room for another one. There we go. Now we'll cut them out. Starting up here at the top. Move that away. Oh, lighting ain't too good there. Let's try that again. There we go. Found my line. Sometimes the lines are hard to see. There we go. There we go. Now we've got two identical pieces. Now we're going to take the back off of one side. Okay, we got the backs off of them. Now we're going to take our little brush here. We're going to brush them down. Really good. And then we're going to kind of make a few twists and turns in them. Because this we want to make to look like a thatched roof. So we're going to give it kind of some 
edgy turns in it. And we'll do for the same for the other one. Okay, that all done. Now we're going to attach them to our house. Put a little bit of glue there on both sides. Grab it. Kind of try to gauge it about your half inch marks on both sides. Kind of press it. Now, again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Remember, this is your craft. Dogs are barking at something. This one, I had to bend it a bit to get it to go down on there. I'll let it sit there. up some there we go hold the glue down again then we'll do the same thing to the other side okay we got that uh, roof on there nice and tight Sealed up, looking really good. Okay, now how we got your bevels and everything. Now we want to put a, a cap end on that. Uh, basically, get yourself some cardstock, real cheap, and get it at a uh, Dollar Tree for about a hundred uh, pages for buck twenty-five. No problem. I've cut off about three quarters of an inch and then folded it in half, and that's pretty much all you need. Uh, we know that it is six inches long, so. Basically, we can just take it to the end there and just snip it off. That match up really good, just like that. A little bit of glue right in the middle. Put it on top of it. There's the cap in. Just hold her down there real good till she holds. And you got yourself a cap on there. And then now we can beautify the rest of the little house here. Again, going back to our plates. We're going to brush our plate down really good. Put that out of the way. Brush it down really good. Go ahead and do it on both sides, making sure that you've got the angle going the same way. And then we're going to take our blade and just cut off approximately about a quarter inch, a little bit more, a little bit less. Just making chunks of wood. To what we're making there. Okay, now we'll go around it and add in these chunks of wood, kind of squaring off, squaring off our house. I'll go ahead and attach one, then show you where I'm at. Um, now remember in gaming normally one inch equals five feet so we're going to keep it at about 
there for first floor. So then we'll go all the way around this at about that distance, making this a two-story house. Just like that. Make it look just like that. Keep on going around it. Okay, I got that going around all the way around the house. Now on the two sides here, I'm going to put a V shape. Okay, so I'll show you how to do that. Basically just cross across the uh, where you're going. Mark it, bring it down, cut it out, glue it in. Just like that, and then we'll bring another one up this way on that side. Okay, got that side done, and that side done. Last things we're going to glue on, front and back doors, and two windows. So, go ahead and just put a little bit of glue on our doors. If you want to know how to make these doors, I made a video back in the... A couple days ago, it's on my uh, YouTube page, so you can just go back there and check on how I made them, and it'll show exactly how to make them. So, I mean, they're real easy to make, good to go. We put these on the front side and uh, back side of your house, pretty much just like that, making it look all pretty. <coughs> Do the same thing on the back side of your house. Go. There you go, just like that. And now we're ready for painting. So we'll grab this out. First thing we're going to paint is the roof. Like I said, since it is a thatched roof, we're going to use a yellow paint. And I am going to mix a little bit of brown with it. So I got my nutmeg brown out because I want it. A little bit so I put about three or four drops in there give me a little stir stick and I'll make it a like a beige color and that'll be a pretty good color for for my roof so get myself a medium-sized brush and what is that make sure don't touch the top there. We're going to make it a different color. We're just coloring the the roof there. Alrighty. Okay, I got the whole roof painted. Uh, as you can tell there, you can really see the designs coming out in that. That really looks like a thatched roof. A little hay and uh, brush on top of the roof there. Uh, next, we're going to paint all of the stucco. I go with a light gray, so a dolphin gray is just about right. Uh, the apple barrel paint is really good for this. So, we'll get some of it down on my little cart here. Grab out my medium sized brush. I'm gonna start, now I don't wanna, I don't wanna color this, this, or these. So I'm gonna be very careful going around it and just paint right up to it, just like that. Alrighty, just like that, all the way around the, uh, around it. Okay, I got the light gray on there, uh, and it's all covered really good. If you notice, I didn't put a black first coat on this. It was because I wanted my collars to be light and come out, especially on this next collar, which I'm going to use a burnt auburn, which is my other color of brown that I use. I don't use it often, 
but I do use it. And if you put black on it, it just comes out too dark. But that's what I'm going to use for all this here and the top. So I'll get my burnt umber out. It's a really, really dark brown, but it looks really good for wood purposes. I'll put that on there and let you see exactly what it looks like there. See how well that looks for wood there? So I'm going to do all of these and the top there. All right. Okay, and there you go. It is complete. Now, this is my color scheme. And like I said, this is your uh, your uh, craft. So you could do it any color scheme that you wanted it to. And, uh, and uh, you can do anything and if you wanted to you could do a black wash over the whole thing that would dull all the colors down and make it look older but I'm, I I just kind of like the way this looks and kind of like a you know an old English house and it just looks really pretty just the way it stands like that and uh, I think I'll just leave it like that so if you like like I said before in the beginning if you like what you see hit that like button uh, if you ain't a subscriber go ahead and subscribe and share with your friends and just get the name out there uh, Enjoy and have a good day and may the Lord be with you.